Hey the reviewers, got a quick one for you. It's not really a diagnosis. This is actually a matter of opinion. Um, borderline rant. And you could, I guess you could call this a response video to Scanner Danner's previous video of um, are mechanics thieves or is it just plain incompetence? And <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not trying to badmouth people. This came from another shop. This, this vehicle came from another shop. And as you can see at idle, it's got sky high fuel trims. Lady took it to another shop and they said it's the low pressure fuel pump. Let's rev it up. Wow. Low pressure fuel pump. Now anybody who knows fuel trims knows what would cause this. If you think vacuum leak, you'd be right. There's not, I have not seen maybe some mass flow sensors, rare, rare cases I've seen that happen, but in most cases, it's a vacuum leak. Now this car has already been diagnosed along with another one that I'm about to show you. And what I'm trying to get to is <clears throat> sometimes it's not just incompetence. Sometimes it's just, you know, lack of training, lack of experience, uh, or just plain laziness. But there's so many factors. There's so many variables. It's hard to say what it is, but it's a shame that this lady came from another shop with a huge quote for a part that wouldn't fix her vehicle. Um, <clears throat> I've already diagnosed this, like I said. And um, I'm not sure if she's going to do it, but I, I was already having this on its way out. But when a PCV goes kaput, this is what happens. That excess crankcase vacuum is causing an internal vacuum leak. So why would they say that it's a fuel pump when it's lean at idle? Do they not know how to read fuel trims? Maybe they should watch this video because I'm going to show you what an actual bad fuel pump looks like in fuel trims. This car here is a Nissan Altima. It's already been diagnosed. It's giving me 30 PSI at the fuel rail. Instead of the specs, 50 PSI. So let's go ahead and check out these fuel trims. And no, I did not film these diagnoses because I've been in a hurry. But I've got a little extra time here. So I thought, why not somehow put them in a video? I figured uh, maybe somebody could, t somebody could learn. Somebody could definitely benefit out of this. To see the differences in fuel trends between a vacuum leak and a fuel pump. A real fuel pump. Now, I've said it before. Fuel pumps tend to be... Um, okay at idle and lean as you accelerate because the demand for more gasoline when you rev up it's not there because of low fuel pressure so the leans it leans out on you when you accelerate same as a mass airflow sensor that's under reporting that can happen as well but i've already diagnosed this one now a vacuum leak is a whole another story because it's it has to do with vacuum levels obviously you know it's a uh, vacuum changes when you open up that throttle blade there's less vacuum so it corrects itself so let's take a look at what this one does you see the short term it's past 12 and a half long term is a little lower but let me rev it up long term jumps up I revved it up a little high there. Hold on. There you see. As soon as I revved it up, it goes leaner. I'm keeping an eye on that long term. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on. That long term, I'm going to rev it up now. Let me, you know what? Let me put some uh, RPMs in there as well. So there are my RPMs at idle. You see how the RPMs jump up? As soon as you uh, hit the gas, also along with the long-term fuel trims, it's starved for fuel because it does not have enough pressure. Now, I wanted to give that example because it's a shame to see this, this kind of stuff happen. Nobody misdiagnosed this one. This one is the first time it comes in here, but I thought it was the perfect example to show the difference between the two. 
and um that's pretty much it it's not a diagnosing video but you know man it sucks to see you know all the kinds of reasons why someone would that's they wanted a quarter almost two grand it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but and in the i saw the paperwork i'm not gonna say what shop it is i saw the paperwork it says repla replace low pressure fuel pump due to lean uh fuel trims then check for vacuum leaks no no start watching more scanner danner that's my suggestion anyway thanks for watching till next time